They've added two really good players since we lost to them down there. I think Williamson had 20-something easy. Uh, the other guy had three for three in the first half. But the difference is we guarded better. We played better defense. We got out to the shooters better. And we rebounded better. And offensively, Joe did a tremendous job of getting us into the right situations, making the right pass, the right play. You know, Buddy hit a hot streak there, and they just kept getting him the ball. And, uh, you know, Cole was the best he's played, I think. Uh, Jimmy was good. He got, he got on the boards. I thought the unit in the second half, I wasn't going to – I didn't plan on just playing the five, but the unit was so cohesive and played together so well that it was it was uh, no way we were going to break that up. And our visitor from uh, Milwaukee thought that he this team played as well. To, that he was very uh, talked to the team about how well they played together and. Uh, it, it was just a really good offensive and defensive performance. And, you know, we haven't had that. We haven't been able to put that together this year. And, uh, you know, this, it, was, it was a good thing to see. I, I think Wake Forest is a really good team, a really good team. And uh, it was a good win. Thank you, Coach. We'll start with Mike Curtis and go to Andrew Crane. Hey, you know, um, you mentioned your visitor from Milwaukee. Um, were there any conversations that you had with Giannis during the game or during halftime or after the game? Um, and what were your impressions of? I don't know. Not not either before, during, or until after. He came in the locker room after the game, and he was really great. He gave a really, really good talk to the players, probably in five, six, seven, eight minutes, took some pictures with him. I mean, one of the nicest people I've ever come across in this business, him and his brother. Just really, really good people. It was fun having him there. It was fun having the students back. Um, you know, fans were good. Fans got into the game. Hopefully we can get past this stuff and get where we're healthier, where people can come in more easily and... I even miss the press conferences. I think we're the only school in the country that's not doing them right now, probably. It's kind of time to move on, I think, for that. Yeah. I have a quick follow-up. Um, I asked Giannis about um, which college he would play. And if, he, if he had gone to college, which school he would went to. He said Syracuse. <laughs> um, could you envision him in that 2-3 zone? <laughs> yeah, he could play two positions at once. <laughs> But he could play one, two, three, four, five. I'd be happy with him in all of them. <laughs> it was fun to Go meet to him. Fun to meet him. He's a great, really, he's a great young man. Coach, uh, early in the second half, I think Wake Forest had like eight turnovers in the first 10 minutes or something like that. Was there anything specific about the defense that was really clicking in that that stretch? Uh, were you guys really, really able to pull ahead and kind of take control there? I just thought we made it some plays that we haven't been making. Jimmy got back and got two steals. Uh, we got a couple deflections. Buddy got back in. Joe got one. Uh, I just thought we were a little bit more active and, uh, you know, just just a little bit quicker to the ball. Uh, again, you know, we need we just haven't played that kind of defense, and that's why we're in the predicament we're in. It's, uh, you know, we'll just try to keep improving as we move forward here. Our next question will be from Don, and then we'll go to Barab. Uh, Jim, for the record, we would be happy if you went to the regular press conferences again, too. Um, I, I'm curious about uh, what the difference is with offensively today. I mean, there was an onslaught. You scored 94 points today. That's more, you know, more points than you scored. In one, you scored more points in one half today than we did in the entire Pittsburgh game. Well, Pittsburgh's what, what a different game, as you all know half-court game, bruising defensive team, completely different game, much harder to score against them. Um, but we've been very good offensively this year, uh, I think, and except for, you know, the last two games, we were, Duke just was just got us early and got us and we missed shots and 
uh, this game, you know, the tempo was there. They're going to play, and we're going to play, and you know, we're a good offensive team in that situation. I thought tonight we had the best balance. Joe was able to get some things. Jesse got to some things. Frank got some dish. In the first half, we could have been down a lot. Buddy got in, and Jimmy got in and made a couple really good passes to Frank. He got a couple dunks in there. Um, I thought our offense, even the first half, was really good. We, we looked for each other, uh, hit each other. In the second half, you know, it was, Buddy really got going, so that was a big part of that. But I thought Cole got into his spot better than he has all year. And uh, I, I just thought, again, you know, we've been a good offensive team, but I thought tonight we were probably the most balanced overall. It wasn't one or two, it was, it was five guys. You know, just to follow up on that, you mentioned the crowd and how, the energy that the crowd brought tonight. How much do you think that sort of energized your team? I think it's all good. The better we play, the more energy, the more they cheer. But uh, yeah, I mean, it was, it was good. Good to have the students back, and uh, you know, at the end of the day, you still you got to play, you got to play basketball. And today we did. Thank you. We'll go to Garab and then Mike first. You mentioned Cole Swatter in the second half. What did he do specifically to help the team out, especially go on that second half run uh, on offense? Well, he got to his spot and he made the turnaround. He's been getting in there and not shooting it. Today he got in there and shot it. And, uh, you know, he's a good shooter. He, he can make that play. And uh, I was glad he even went and he got an offensive rebound. Jimmy tipped one to him. Yeah, and I, I just thought that, you know, everybody played well in that unit. And uh, I thought Cole was, this is the way I feel that he can play, how he played tonight. We'll go to you next. Jim, on some nights this year, it's been really tough to get Buddy open looks, especially from three-point range. What was the difference tonight? Because, you know, he goes six for 11 from three. I just thought he made tough ones that he's been missing. He didn't get any easy ones. I mean, I think he got the same shots he's been getting. He just he just made them tonight. He made he made some some really tough threes. And he got in the lane like he did, like he has done. I thought he was even better when he got to the lane. He was balanced, and I thought he just—he was just the best he's been this year, getting that lane area and getting that shot up there. Quick follow-up for you, Jim. Um, Buddy tonight moves into the top 20 on the school's career scoring list. He, he ties Roosevelt Bowie. Um, you know, when you brought him into this program four years ago, did you ever think he'd have this kind of career and, and be up there with those kind of names? You know, you never know what's going to happen. It, it depends how hard somebody works. You know, we knew he was a good player. We knew he could shoot. He showed that right away his freshman year. And then by his sophomore year, he was putting the ball on the floor and making plays. He's worked really hard with Jerry and in the, in the summertime with Eric. And he's gotten to where he can get his shot, get in the lane. And uh, that's why he's able to do what he's able to do, because he's worked it into it. He didn't come easy. He worked his tail off. Um, he's worked harder than any player I've ever had. I've had a lot of guys that really work hard, but he's overall worked harder than anybody in the weight room and on the basketball court. Next, we'll go to Dan Tortor. Coach, is there something you could say about the uh, the inside efforts and play of, of Jesse as well as Frank in this? And just what you saw from Benny, just what the front court looked like tonight. I thought Frank was good in the, really good in the first half and, and rebound. And Jesse was really good offensively. He's, I thought he, you know, he didn't rebound as well. He's, you know, a couple of the fouls, I don't know. It looks like his hands are straight up. But, you know, he was good offensively. Um, you know, he's... He's getting better. He's getting better all the time. But he, he's really good when we can catch him rolling and getting to the basket and get make that quick move there. Um, yeah, I mean, the, the two big guys were really good. Really good. We have two more questions. The first from camp, and we'll go to James. 
Yeah, Coach, uh, in the second half specifically, uh, you know, your team had 10 steals overall, but it seemed like the defense, the activity w was up. And what, how would you rate, you know, not just the defense, but how it turned into transition offense in that second half? Well, getting turnovers and get, is how you get into transition. And, uh, you know, they had 17 turnovers to our five. So that's 12 extra possessions, and some of them did uh, turn into fast breaks. Um, but again, defense is key, and you know, we were better. We were just better on defense. We've said all year, I mean, it's pretty, pretty common knowledge. We just haven't been as good defensively as we need to be. And uh, this was a, a really good outing, and hopefully we can carry this forward to uh, NC State. Our final question will be from James. Yeah, Jim, just more on Cole. Uh, is this the kind of player that you guys expected him to be? And is he rounding a corner right now, or is that just a one-off? He, he played great tonight, absolutely great. And, uh, you know, I expect him to continue this and to play even better as we move down the stretch here. Thank you.